welcome back to Twins Try. I'm Christy. I'm Wing. And today we're trying something super, super fun. We're making matcha marquise. I saw this on a Facebook group called Subtle Asian Baking, and I sent it to my sister and my brother, and I've literally been dreaming about it ever since. So we're gonna give this recipe a try and see how good it turns out. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have 250 grams of our vanilla wafers. We have five grams of matcha powder, which we sifted, and 115 grams of unsalted butter, which is melted. We have our parchment lined tin, because we don't have a pull out tin. And pour. Then we're gonna grab a cup and just tamp it down. This is gonna go ahead and set in the fridge for two hours. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with the matcha cream. We're going to take 190 grams of unsalted butter, 25 grams of matcha powder, and 110 grams of white chocolate and melt it on a bain-marie or a double boiler. Okay, in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and take the 30 grams of icing sugar, 350 grams of cream, this is heavy whipping cream, and we're gonna go ahead and whip this, uh, whisk this until stiff peaks. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and whisk this yolk and the sugar until it's thick, and then we'll fold in that chocolate we heat it, heat it on a double boiler and fold that in too. Yolks. Rice pot for the win. <laughs> I'm running out of dishes, man. Good luck, your arms. the crust and we have our folded cream. We're gonna go ahead and pour the cream into the crust and then, and then let, let it set it back, back in the fridge. fridge. So we're gonna go ahead and set this right back into the fridge and let it set once more. Okay, we're back and we're gonna do the last thing which is to make the matcha glaze. We have gelatin here that we're gonna bloom in cold water. While that's hydrating, we're gonna go ahead and put the water, cream, and sugar onto a saucepan to boil. And the final step is to add this softened gelatin. This was four grams of gelatin that we hydrated in cold water, is to add this here. Now we're gonna go ahead and set it in the fridge. Our matcha marquise is now out of the fridge. We're gonna attempt to pull it out, and I don't know if the par parchment paper is gonna be strong enough when I yank it out, so we did take some before pictures just in case it breaks. Paper strong enough it's kind of wet. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, it transferred. Woohoo! Okay, so we're gonna try it now. Mm hmm. It's really good. Mm hmm.
It's really earthy with the right amount of sweetness. Mm -hmm. mm. That is really good. Yeah. It's really good. Although, it does take a very long time to make. Yeah, this, the most time is just in setting and waiting for everything to set, but mm -hmm. I'd say I'd make this again. It takes a very long time. Oh, yeah. So you have to kind of set aside a whole day to do this. You could do other things in between. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of downtime in this recipe. It's just waiting for the thing like to set. Like the crust to set. Mm -hmm. Then you have to wait for the cream to set. Then the glaze, glaze to, to set. set. Mm -hmm. But overall, the flavor is great. Yeah. Flavor is great. I like this recipe a yeah. lot. And it's not power overpoweringly sweet. So mm -hmm. I really do enjoy that. Yeah. And the earthiness is a really great balance balance and usually mm -hmm. with matcha desserts you kind of have a very light flavor this is very matcha forward so yeah. I think most times people are afraid to put too much matcha but this is a good amount of matcha mm -hmm. it's matcha in the crust matcha in the cream and matcha in the glaze yep all right well if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get to see our next videos and as always let us know what you try next on twins try bye, bye.